All right, Ben, when we started checking in with you, this was the surprisingly good division. And now it feels like the division that nobody really wants to win. At least that's the vibe here over the last few weeks. But in Houston, uh, a glimmer of hope is that CJ Stroud is a limited participant in practice heading into this week. What degree of optimism do you think we should have that CJ Stroud's back in the lineup? Yeah, I, I think our expectation should be pretty high that, that he's going to return, right? As you said, limited participant in, in practice Wednesday. Uh, had, had kind of started ramping up, I think, at the end of last week with participating in, in meetings uh, last Friday for, for the first time in a while. Uh, missing those two games, obviously, and and kind of getting back into it. I know a lot of the Texans folks, uh, like players and, and Coach D'Amico Ryans, uh, talked about kind of how like the spirit is, is a lot higher uh, with CJ being back. And, and I'd say there's a really good chance of him uh, playing. Uh, D'Amico uh, Ryans had mentioned how CJ is in phase four. Uh, and, and so um, he, he's really on, on the cusp of, um, you know, that that last, uh, what what is it, the um, contact practice and then getting cleared by the independent neurologist. So he, he seems to be right there. And so I, I would expect him uh, to, to make his return uh, from, from the concussion this week against the Titans. So obviously so much of this is dependent on the quarterback. I get that. And the Texans are what averaging about two touchdowns per game in the time since CJ went down, but we also know the other injuries that they've faced. There are other reasons for their offensive struggles than just the quarterback. Is it as easy as, as putting CJ Stroud back in? I mean, obviously that'll make a difference, but with the other problems that they've faced, how much of a difference do you think that'll make? Yeah, I think Dave, because of what we've seen CJ do right, like early in the season, seemingly just seemingly just being able to to carry the Texans, uh, transcending issues on the O line or the run game or, or the defense, uh, and and able to to lead the the uh, the Texans in that way. But I think at this point in the year, and then of course with CJ coming off a concussion, you, you you're not maybe quite sure exactly what you're expecting and you need, if you're the Texans, the, the defense to really uh, rise to the occasion. And uh, right now it, it, you don't maybe really know what you're going to get from them. I mean, their entire defensive line is on the injury report. Jonathan Grenard with an ankle injury, Will Anderson uh, Jr. With, with the high ankle sprain, he, cup, he sprained, a, uh, you know, the injury he sustained a few weeks ago, Malik Collins and Sheldon Rankins are also on the injury report. Um, and they they really struggled generating uh, pressure uh, against Joe Flacco last week. A big reason why Joe Flacco and and by extension Amari Cooper were able to um, kind kind of do as much damage as they did, just because uh, Will Anderson didn't play, and then Jonathan Grenard was lost in the first quarter, and they weren't able to get to Flacco, and and that caused all kinds of issues. And so. Um, so, so I think from a defensive standpoint, you, you are maybe a little concerned. Um, it's still early in the in the week at this point, but you do want to see some of those guys get get back. I mean, it's really unclear at this point what Renard status is. Uh, Will Anderson has missed the last three games, and so you hope that's been enough rest for him to kind of get back right. But. Uh, I am concerned about this Texans pass rush. And then by, by extension, they have given up a lot of explosive pass plays uh, the last few weeks. And, and a big reason for that is because of their, uh, the lack of, uh, of an ability to generate a consistent pass rush. So yep, CJ coming back is, is great and all, and, and you're certainly encouraged by what Devin Singletary is given you in the run game for, for the last several weeks now, but defensively, uh, I think there is concern uh, because I, I think ev everything for the Texans defense starts with that D line. And if they're not generating the pressure they need to, and, and then stopping the run too, then I, I think that kind of becomes an issue for them.